Well, that probably looks disconcerting. Uh, but you know, when you turn your video camera on, your video camera, when you turn the video feature on on your phone and drive around and talk, it's not going to be the best cinematography. So here's a thought I've never shared with anyone, I don't think. And I'll preface it with this. I'm always interested in human nature and how it has changed through history. And I generally, generally operate on the assumption that people have always been the same. But of course society and technology and general thinking has changed. But that people are all the same throughout time. Um, of course individuals are different, but as a whole, I think humanity has always been recognizably humanity in, in contrast with other species, you know, people are people, trees are trees, things like that. So one of the things I am interested in is how dogs may have been the first domesticated animal and how dogs are treated now. I see dogs being brought into restaurants. I see dogs being brought into stores. I see dogs being brought everywhere I see people. A few people bring dogs. So the attitude of society with dogs has changed in my lifetime. Dogs used to be either outside a home or inside a home or both. And now they're like a kid, you know? You might leave your kid at home if you have a sitter. You probably won't leave your kid at home alone, but you'll leave a dog home alone. So that is the same, you know, that's a difference. But in general, a lot of people are starting to treat a, a dog like a kid. They have to bring them with them sometimes. They bring them wherever they go. Maybe they don't take them to a fancy restaurant. Maybe you don't take the baby to the fancy restaurant. Maybe you don't take the dog to the fancy restaurant. But you take a dog wherever. I mean, that's a new attitude and it's probably here to stay and it's probably going to increase. So another thing I'm interested in is how things have changed from ancient times to today. Like the difference between ancient literature and current literature. And of course, my introduction to ancient literature was the Bible, like all of Western society, generally speaking, people my age and up. And in the Bible, dogs are not members of anyone's family, right? So I want to do a word study, find all the instances of the words of dogs in the Bible and compare them. And I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to find. And it's not the way dogs are viewed by me or anyone I know. So I'm thinking, well, what's the difference? Have dogs changed? Well, surely a dog's different if you consider it a member of the family than if you don't consider it a member of the family. So, sure, dogs are different. But, but, here's my hypothesis. Biologically, dogs are dogs, even though they express their genes in lots of different breeds, in lots of different ways. But fundamentally, a dog is a dog. But what we have, that we call dogs, are psychologically puppies. The dog grows up, the dog becomes mature, but psychologically, it thinks that we are its parents, and it is a puppy. So in literature, if they say a dog, they're either talking about a dog today that is psychologically still a puppy, or a grown dog, which is not psychologically a puppy, in the past. So that explains why dogs are not spoken of with love and caring and affection in ancient literature. Because there certainly were people that probably carried around puppies and treated them like a baby, but then they probably let them grow up and become a dog, meaning a member of a pack. 
meaning someone who could vie for leadership of a pack. Think of a Huskies on the Iditarod Trail. So they're around people, but they're not pets. They're work animals or they're domesticated animals, but they're not pets in the sense of members of the family at all. Maybe when they're three months old, but they're allowed to mature psychologically and the word puppy is more in line with what we have that we call dogs as far as their attitude, as far as their psychology. They've matured physically, but they are at heart puppies. So now I'd like to see the use of the term puppy in ancient literature. So there you go. Have a nice day. Just a thought I had. I guess I'm hoping that the thoughts that I have will cause somebody to have that thought that they never would have had and to take it further and come up with a hypothesis, a belief, a further knowledge of where that thought goes. But I also want to know if I'm wrong. Um, so there you go. Have a good day. I think I have rehearsal tonight. Had it last night. Very interesting. Lots of young people in the cast. Lots of 18 to 22 year olds in the cast. Very talented. Interesting direction. Interesting choreography. Um, I hope it'll be a good show. I don't really see it coming together yet, but we have several weeks, and that's rather common to not see a show. You know, not to not to not to see it as a show yet until further along in the process. This particular director does things in little chunks, not even in order. So, you know, of course I don't see a whole. We don't start at the beginning and go till the end. Yeah. So, all right, take care.